Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We're jumping in again this time as sheep to try and get some other secret ultras, although one of them I don't know how to get. So one of them is we need to not take um, either extra feet or gamma guts, I believe was the other one. Let me just check on that. Um, yeah, we can't take extra feet or gamma guts, but this one, it says take a secret crown. But I don't know what any of the secret crowns are or how to get them. So, that's going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little tough. Um, I think here we're going to go with a golden flamethrower to start with. And we're just going to jump in. And, yeah, we can charge stuff to do some damage. We probably won't use our charge a whole lot, though. I'll use it here and there. When I can. But we're going to be having a weak char charge here. But, yeah, secret crowns. I actually don't know how to get those. There's definitely a few that I've seen. But I don't know the conditions for getting the secret crowns. Um, so I'm unsure exactly how to unlock that one, but if, if we don't end up finding out this episode, if we don't end up making a, a good mark and accidentally stumbling into one, then if people can let me know in the comments what you guys know about the, um, the secret crowns, then I can come back to, uh, sheep later down the line and give it a go. We do get this off the bat though. Um, I'm gonna take plutonium hunger here because I just love it. I absolutely love the flamethrower as an early weapon. As a starting weapon, it's it's such a big increase to your damage output. Just gotta be careful with the ammo though. The ammo consumption is rather hefty. Okay, but yeah, that was that was just I, it was impossible that I was gonna live through that to be honest. Yeah, sometimes you can do that there, and that's, that's pretty beautiful. But it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you run into a wall and it screws it all up. But we'll keep it going. And we've got another um, thingy here, inverted. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. And this time, we'll take that. But yeah, we can't take extra feet or gamma guts, which are the sort of regular ones that you'd take with this fella. Which is fair enough, because yeah, I think I'd always take either of those if they came up as this character. Good, good. Plenty of HP coming our way here. Plenty, plenty. Oh, there's a missile! I didn't realise he fired the micro-missiles. I just kind of like having this for getting around as well. It's kind of nice. Okay. Level 4, nice. My god. Get them taken care of. And radiation. I never really remember how radiation works on weapons. I don't remember what it does. Hits occasionally infuse rads into an enemy. Okay, so I think we just get more rads from enemies. We do get mood swing, which we love. Uh, with it, with fire from mood swing, that's pretty good. What does fire do again? Um, fire spreads. Yeah, there you go. Fire spreads is good. Um, and we'll probably take this as well. I think flamethrower plus fire spreads seems like a fun one. Good old burning. Gives us a lot of AoE potential. Does it do anything to toxic? No, it doesn't. That's fair. Well, actually, does it not? No, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Okay, nice. Taking a bit more damage than I should be here. Um, Alkaline Saliva is probably a good shout here. Yeah, Mood Swing is going to be something that I think I'm pretty much always going to want to take. It's just such a fun idea and I love the elements in this game, in this mod. Alright, there you go. Right, through here we go. Right, any secret crowns available? Is this a secret crown? Um, disable weapon mods for each weapon mod on a weapon, gain plus one max health. I don't know if that's a secret one or not. But it's before the non, so I'm going to assume it is.
I think the secret ones are just ones that have conditions on them. Like you have to be, do you have to do something for them to be available. Don't like that being there. This fire spreads thing is is lovely. I very much like it. Okay, nice. Got an overheal there. Um, probably go with the fists to be honest. Yeah, the spreading is going to be really, really good on this stage, I think. Just because of the amount of enemies that are sort of close by to one another. Wow, that was a really quick stage. Good, good. This, this, this weapon's really good if you can hit all your shots with it as well. The Brox Tavern. I like that. I'm going to be taking that. I don't know what it is, but I like it. That might be one of the competition winner weapons, actually. I don't know. What? Does it just use a bit of all the ammos? Either way, it's got fire in it, so it's doing some elemental damage as well. Therefore, I'm in love with it. Lightning crossbow. I believe... Is it lightning that stuns? Tentacles and lightning stun. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Let's try that. Um, flexible elbows, why not? Doing just fine here. We're already level 7 as well. Nice little slam there on him. I'm not really seeing the stun coming up. Oh god. Fucking car thrower. Yeah, I do not want to deal with you, big sir. Another car thrower back there. Oh, I accidentally clicked out of my game, sorry. <laughs> that confused me just as much as it confused you guys, I think. Got some extra maximum HP. Away we go. Okay, already level 7, so we're already doing well. Definitely need a better weapon than the flamethrower at the moment. It's it's fine, but it could it could be better. Don't much like the idea of this guy. I'm going to kind of wait for him to come over to me, to be honest. There we go, we got him. It wasn't that hard, actually. We have run out of ammo on this thing, though. Carboy is dead. We got going. Assault pistol, come on. I need higher caliber than that. Level 8. Better charge. Eagle eyes. Trigger finger. I think we should go for Rhino skin for the survivability here. Goddamn green bats. Are back once again to ruin my day. Luckily, our killing power with the things that we have is pretty good. 
We're just a little wary. It's going to fall off instantly. Like, we go to one stage, it's just going to do nothing for us. God damn, so many of the crystals, man. So many of the laser crystals. I'm feeling it. Level 9 already. Wow. Level 9 already is very, very good. What we got down here? Quadruple shotgun and splinter spear launcher. Let's go with the splinter spear launcher. Try that out. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That's not done. What's what's left? Could be a bat all the way over here, isn't there? Oh no, just a few of you guys managed to slip through the cracks. Right, gotta fight the big, the big fella here. Um, the scarier phase, I think, is good to go here. Some contact damage there, I really shouldn't have. I just like the fact that with the flamethrower you can just kind of fill the space. Oh, I don't like the fact that I was hit by one of those guys again. Okay, that makes me feel better. Slapping resources out of you is very, very nice. I don't like the fact that you're not breaking these walls though. There you go. That's what I wanted you to do. Uh, much easier to hit once I've broken those walls. Dude, get off me. Don't just run directly at me. That hurts. It's literally the entire point of you existing, but don't do it. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan. Oh, a splinter gun. Right, we're very near. We're very near here. Probably this level will do it. Very much keep our distance here. It's a very good weapon that we've got going on here. One shotting a lot of these guys is lovely. I'm gonna let all these guys come out my way first. Anything that can pass through walls, let them do their business first. Ah, stupid hit that was. There we go, we hit Ultra. Okay, last few enemies. Of course, we've got a big dog there. We done it? We done it, I think. Okay, there should be at least one of them. Yes, we got both! Yes! Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Awesome. Okay. Codename SAS Secret Agent Sheep. Enemies that don't know um, you're there take 10 times damage. Oh, damn. Each area take on the appearance of any character, enabling you to use their active, not their passive. Okay. Secret gateways appear in the crown vault, connecting several areas. That's very interesting. And then we've also got hypnotize here. Enemies react and move slower. Active changes into hypnosis. Hypnosis reactivates your passive. Can we use... Three times each area. Throw them, but increase it to five. Okay. Definitely going to have to go for Secret Agent Sheep. And we can take on the active of another character. YV is definitely one that I like quite a lot. Um, although, what's... Crystal Shield is, is really good. Explode Corpses. Oh, damn. Yes. Super Kraken gun. Explode corpses on a character that isn't... Although, so far... Not letting me explode said corpses so far. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm the weaponsmith? Why am I the weaponsmith when I definitely picked melting? Hmm. Definitely didn't turn me into the right character here. Little bit of a shame. The Weaponsmith is not a bad one. 
I'm not super displeased about this. Not super displeased about this, but yeah, I'm a bit confused. Right. Melting. Maybe I press it really high at the top there. There we go. It works this time. It worked this time. Grab that. And we've got our secret pathways here as well. So courtyard. Well, first of all, let's take care of you. Ow. So we got courtyard. We got 7-3. We got reverse 7-3. Yeah. Hoo -hoo. I like this. This is very cool. <laughs> Secret Agent Sheep is, is what I'm talking about. Being able to be melting, like have his ability without actually being melting is, is pretty awesome. Oh my god, we're so fucked. We've got no ammo. Also, he was like moving at insane speeds there. But we unlocked two of the ultras, which is pretty awesome. We'll see if we can get the second one. Secret agent is probably going to be the one I go for, though. Ten times damage to enemies that don't see you seems insane. Especially if you get like hypersomnia with that. My god. Conversion magnet. Beautiful. Go with the moons. We like the moons. We've proven before that they are very good. Just cover the entire area of fire. Man. What a great weapon to start with here. Easy. Easy. Okay. Kind of slipped through the cracks there. A little bit. Give me all those rads first before we go. Thank you. Into the inverted. Mood swing is just too good. I want to get like a really cool mood swing build going. With, like, a bunch of Kraken weapon mods. Oh, what the hell? Micro minigun. This is definitely new. This might be one of the uh, competition unlocks as well. <laughs> Whoever decided to add this to the game, you are a beautiful, beautiful bastard. This is truly something special. Oh my lord, I love this so much. I want to make a build that revolves around this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Give me something that makes the projectiles in this bounce. I might go for the full damage setup. With this thing. It seems fun. I think I got hit by a rocket there. It's no problem. It's no problem. Um, go with power craving here. <laughs> this weapon's amazing. I need eagle eyes with it as well. Eagle eyes on top of all of this would be quite something. It seems pretty ammo efficient too. Like I'm like not running through ammo too quickly. Level 7. 
There's the next piece of the puzzle. <laughs> oh, that's that's very enjoyable. I actually kind of like it with a lower accuracy, just so I can do this and like spread the shots throughout the entire level. Good, good. No ammo wasted there, baby. I'm gonna run out of ammo any second now, though. Oh, beautiful. Straight through here. <laughs> I love this. Right, swarm. Oh, bouncer on this could be fun. We like Bouncer. Ooh, Bouncer on this is quite good. Where you at? The tyrant. My fucking Serenity Dreams, whatever it's called, blocked a shot that he fired there and it felt very good. I need more ammo on this thing. All good? All good. Get me the hell out of here. Right, um... Go with that, why not? I like it when there's a lot of low HP enemies in the same area. That's where this thing really shines. No, we're out of ammo. No, I touched the crystal. God damn it. Anyways, I think we'll leave this episode there. Yet another ultra yoinked. Two of them, in fact. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.